access to Eagle Heart Fellowship's website. Here at the top in the browser, you just click on that, and when you click on it, it shows you our building. So you can go to Eagle Heart and take people there, and here's directions right here. There's a contact us form. You could, David, Arabian. Let's just do this. You type that in. A request. Help. <laughs> okay, so you'd submit that. Boom. And so that's, that's off, and it would come to, thank you for contacting us. We are glad to hear from you. Mm -hmm. So whatever your request is, somebody would get back with you on that. And we get some interesting requests. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of interesting requests out of Canada right now. Oh, gosh. And, and so here you've got your home page. And... You know, you've got different ministers that minister through here that we've had, and so different services kind of chronicle some of that stuff. And then this tells about Eagle Heart Fellowship Weekly Gathering. Here's Jeff Gay. There's Heart Prison Ministries. It talks about that. Um, here's the recent video. So each week, a new video gets uploaded. This one, How to Break Ungodly Soul Ties. So you just click on that. It brings it up. And this just to give you an idea of some of the stuff that we have that are available online for free. This is what we do with your Eagle Heart gifts and ties. of Women's Conference mm -hmm. here in Kansas City. That was a couple years ago, but the Lord prompted me to put it back up on YouTube and it automatically loaded into Eagle Heart. And so uh, that's what's available there. Then what you could do is you could turn around and you could email that link to the Kansas City Songbird, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so it's been sent. So you just shared that video with somebody. Cool. Just that quick. Um, you could go to the store and you could buy something or order it. Mm -hmm. And here is the Super 7's teaching which is seven sessions on something that there's seven of in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Like the seven doors, or seven types of leaven, or seven deadly diseases of the tongue. So it's a 10 CD series. It'd be $50, you can add it to your cart. And you could check out and pay online and it would arrive in the mail. Here you have ebooks, electronic books that you could purchase, and you could also email this page to a friend. Here's prohibiting and permitting, and it's 99 cents for an electronic download that comes onto your iPad or tablet. So these are some things that we've added. Then here's a section called DVD, coming soon. Jason, would you uh, pull that camera right there, just take it, can you unplug it and just bring it to me? These are being installed in the service. We're going to have three of them. It's a pan and tilt video camera, and this will enable us to video the service from three different angles. Mm -hmm. We'll have the pulpit area. We'll have the worship area, and one that we can clip in some of the congregation. 
and we'll have some signs up that says smile, you're on camera. So you get a chance to participate. But these will pan tilt 270 degrees. So when the minister moves out from this, you know, two foot area, it will actually follow him. We'll also be able to video stream, thank you, live. Because people are starting to watch online more and more from around the nation and around the world. One of the things that I'm in the process of the Lord's laid upon my heart for 2014 is to do more media so what God does here can be shared other places. Absolutely. We're certainly not the only place that God is moving, Absolutely. but for some reason, God seems to be wanting to share what's happening here in other areas. And so we're going to be sharing those things, and it's, it's good. Um, so that's the store. Here's your videos page. So you can pull up the video page, and you could donate. And as you click to donate, it's a one-time donation here to help support, you know, you could do $25, and you could even make it a recurring monthly payment. You can give online. And you could fill out with Visa, American Express, whatever, Discover, or your PayPal account. And it goes through our parent ministry, Heart of America Prison Ministries. We're a 501c3 not-for-profit organization in good standing with the state of Missouri since 1997. And we're accountable with our finances. So that's one of the ways you can donate. Um, then we've got... Just do this real quick. Back on Eagle Heart, you've got an itinerary link. Want to know what's happening at Eagle Heart this Friday night? Or throughout the week? Click itinerary link. And it will show you what's going on this week. David Harabedian is more on dreams and visions. Oh, look, we've got free dreams and vision teaching notes. We can click on that. And we can now download the notes. And here's David's teachings notes. for I can study them in advance. They don't have to be a surprise to me. I don't necessarily have to state afterwards, could I get a copy of those notes? Because you've already got one. And then you can also share those with your friends. So if we went back to itinerary link, what we would find is, oh look, there's a free Dream Interpretation Helps booklet. Click here. And this is Wade Hankins' booklet okay. that he's given me permission to share with you for free. And it has probably 27 pages of stuff. Yeah. But he gives kinds of dreams. Dreams repeated twice. What that means biblically. Mm. Um, different uh, things that... A series of images. Visions come in a series of images. or It just goes on and on. So these are tools that we want to help equip you with so you can be all you're called to be in Christ Jesus. And so you can access it off your smartphone. You can access it off your laptop. You can access it off your desktop. You can access it off your tablet. And so if you don't have a tablet or smartphone, I encourage you to pray and ask God if that's something he would want you to have as a tool. Every Christian should have a Bible, right? Mm -hmm. But not every Christian does have a Bible. Mm -hmm. In China, it's like one Bible per hundred people. Ooh, wow. we, we're shocked because we have four or five of them laying around our house that we don't read. Right. Mm -hmm. They tear out books of the Bible like Ephesians mm -hmm. and they give it to Wen Li and then Wen Li trades Colossians with me, son, and then they go home and they hand copy that book of the Bible, and it's sacred to them, and they make sure they haven't made any mistakes. And that's how they get their Bible read through wow. in a year, because they write the whole thing, because they want their copy of it. But if we can have a copy of it accessible at all times on our phone, it's good to have that as well. Okay, so that's some additional helps that we have. Let's go back here. Is this helpful at all? Oh, yes. So, here you've got to contact us. Here you've got 
donate for Eagle Heart, David Harabedian Ministries, and Heart Prison Ministries. I want to talk about Heart Prison Ministries for a second. You can go up here and it will take you to our sister ministry. Okay, so this is Heart of America Prison Ministries. Again, you've got an itinerary link. It would take you right back to the same page because on all of our sites, it shows the itinerary. And this itinerary doesn't just give you what's happening. A lot of times, it will give you what just happened and access to videos that are fresh. Well, happy to see an angel here tonight. And so that gives you an idea there. Mm. So back to Heart of America Prison Ministries. This is our Bibles to Prisoners program that we do. And we've done it since 1994 when I had the privilege of giving away my leather-bound Bible. Not initially when the Lord spoke to me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Heart of America Ministries was birthed. It was conceived four years earlier by vision. But it wasn't birthed until I gave away that which was sacred to me. Mm. And then God began to provide more. He said to me, because when the Holy Spirit told me to give my Bible to a gentleman, I said, I rebuke you, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got one Bible. The, the Bible says, if you've got two, give one to the man who has none. I have one. You know, I'm not, I'm not being fooled. No response from the devil and no response from God. And finally, I said, God, is this you? He said, give and more will be provided. Every ministry is birthed through sacrifice. Jesus birthed you, the church, through a sacrifice. And so if something comes without some sort of a sacrifice, it doesn't normally have sustainability. That make sense? <coughs> She's kind of true. Anyway, Heart of America Prison Ministries was birthed through sacrifice, and then God just began to add to it. So we have a presence in about a thousand facilities, state and federal. We do first quality leather bound Bibles, and we have a couple of thousand inmates, men and women, on our Bible waiting list. We have a partnership with Mardell's, who has about 35 stores, and they get very special pricing on closeout Bibles, and we're able to get Bibles less expensively than it costs to make them. And so a Bible that retails for about $70, and many of you have seen the Bibles that we give away. They have all the lights, bells, and whistles, gold leaf, Jesus' words in red, a lot of them have color pages and maps and concordance and dictionary in them, depending upon which ones that we get. And we're able to get them for $20. And we can help change a life. We can partner with Jesus to help change lives one Bible at a time in the prison setting. Now, in China, they'll write the Bible because they're so hungry for it. We have four or five, and we don't read them. In prison, in America... They read their Bibles when they ask for one and they get on a waiting list. And so an investment of $20 for a Bible into a prisoner's life costs us about $5 to ship one. So $25 total, but $20 for a raw Bible, $5 for shipping. If you want to sew into that tonight, you pray about that during the service. And there's offering envelopes. You can write on there for a Bible or for Bibles. And you can partner with Jesus who said, I was in prison and you came unto me. Amen. And the sheep will say, Lord, when did we ever see you in prison and come unto you? When you did it unto the least of these, my brethren, you did it unto me. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the rest of my father. The word rest just keeps coming up, doesn't it? Interesting. Tell them how much it saves the our whole country from the, the ministry that we do. This is interesting, a statistic. It costs about $25,000 a year to incarcerate a person. Mm -hmm. It costs an additional $2,500 approximately to add a nine-month residential drug and alcohol program, mm -hmm. which... 
doesn't usually work, but it looks like we've tried. A leather-bound Bible cost $25 to get it into the prisoner's hand. Mm -hmm. And the recidivism rate when a prisoner gets a Bible who's asked for one, mm -hmm. not who was forced mm -hmm. to read one, but who reached out, was leaning into God and wanted to know more, the recidivism rate drops dramatically when they begin to get change from the inside out instead of through civil authority from the outside mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Your tax dollars are hard at work. Incarcerating 2.2 million people in America, highest per capita incarceration rate in the world, bar none, mm -hmm. the United States of America. We used to joke that it was the USSA, because the USSR, Russia. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's no longer the USSR, but um, the point is this. Highest per capita incarceration rate in the world. We're number one. 2.2 million. Now, your tax dollars, that's not your choice. You have to pay them or you go to jail. 25,000 a year per prisoner. That's 10 times more than the drug program that goes on top of the 25,000 a year to try to fix them. And that's 100 times more than a leather-bound Bible through Heart of America Prison Ministries. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the, here's, the, here's, here's the rub. The 25,000 isn't your choice, it's been made for you. The 2,500 is not your choice, it's been made for you. The only one that is your choice is the only one that works. And it costs 1,000 the price of the ones you don't have a choice that's being made for you. It's the leather-bound Bible. And when you stand in heaven before God and he asks you, how was your stewardship? I paid my taxes, God. I obey. I was a good citizen. What did you do with one thousand of that amount? Well, I went to Starbucks. I got that triple macchiato latte with Extra caramel. What? <laughs> boy, it was good. Thank you for making me be born in America. <coughs> or we have chances to help change lives one Bible at a time. Is that powerful? No. And so those are statistical facts. One quick, uh, we, we played this last night, but it's just such a good one. Here's an example of the Bibles. Here we are at Heart of America Prison Ministry, much Bibles today. There we go. We're here with Jeff Gay again, Jeff. And we're here with so many people, they're busy packing Bibles, as you can see. Here's what it looks like on a Bible packing day. There's Barbie. She's busy, busy, busy. Everybody's so busy, they don't want to talk. But you can see that uh, labels go on a Bible, and they're packing labels right there, media mail, the different return address labels are there, and there's Bible packing going on, there's Lila, she's busy too, and our brother there, and uh, anyway, this is what happens when we do Bible packing, there's a label that goes on there, and there's the bookstore label that lets them know what's coming in to get through the mailroom regulations. Anyway, here we are, Heart of America. <laughs> There's Terry, and these are the Bibles that are going out today at Heart of America Prison Ministries Packing Bibles. Thank you for your support and everything you do. We cannot do it without you, and we share together in the harvest. And remember, it's all about Jesus and his people. <laughs> So you can donate for Bibles online. You can also do well, here something. Here we are at Heart of America. This is where we pray over Bible. the Bibles. The other thing that you can do is you can share what we're doing <laughs> with your well-funded friends. <laughs> you can call Jeff or email us 
and we'll go meet with people and we have the raw data and we have the history and we have the evidence of where the money goes and what we really do with it and the lives that are transformed that are coming out so if you'll use the power of media and the internet it will displace other people who are misusing its power all it takes for evil to prevail in the earth is for good men to sit by and do nothing so you can share it in an email um, then we've got this ministry you can sign up for a free newsletter on davidherobedian.com. 